for synthetic division, so I'm going to use all these coefficients. I'm not missing any terms, so it's just going to be the coefficient 1, negative 4, negative 2, and then positive 20. And then I'm going to use the 0 that was given out here on the side. And so we always, as before, bring down the first number, and then this times this. So what is 1 times 3 plus i? You're just distributing a 1, so it's 3 plus i. 3 plus i goes underneath here. You combine the real parts together. The imaginary part doesn't have a like term, so that part will just come down. And then it's a matter of multiplying these two things together. So negative 1 plus i times 3 plus i, and then just FOIL that out. So we get negative 3, negative i, positive 3i, and then positive i squared. So negative 3, these become positive 2i, and this becomes plus a negative 1. So negative 3 plus negative 1 is negative 4 plus 2i. And that's the response that will go underneath here. Then we're going to combine the real parts again. So we get this. Multiply these two together. So negative 6 plus 2i times 3 plus i. So we get negative 18, negative 6i, plus 6i, plus 2i squared. So this becomes negative 18, those i's will cancel, plus 2 times negative 1, so negative 18 minus 2, which is negative 20. We end up with negative 20 here, which ends up giving us 0. So then now we're going to use the conjugate of this value since the conjugate, um, since for imaginary or complex zeros, they always come in pairs, right? The conjugates together. So the conjugate of this is actually 3 minus i, and we're going to follow the whole process again with 3 minus i. So bring down the first term, multiply these together. Um, I need to scoop my paper up. So you're going to do 1 times 3 minus i. When I distribute the 1, I still get 3 minus i. So then here, when I combine the real parts together, I get 2. I can combine the imaginary parts together, but they just end up canceling each other out. So now I multiply these two things together. I end up distributing the 2, and I get 6 minus 2i. So that's positive 6 minus 2i. Combine the real numbers together combine the imaginaries together, they both turn out to be zero, which means my remainder is zero. So now I've got to convert this back into its variables. Remember, this is the constant, this is your x coefficient. So this, in an expression, turns into 1x plus 2. And then if I set the 1x plus 2 equal to zero, I will get that x equals negative 2 is the other zero. So when it says find all other zeros, remember you were only given this one. This is the one that was given. So these other that it's talking about is the conjugate of the one given and then the final one that you found at the very end. Okay. So for your final answer there, it'll be 3 minus i and the negative 2. Just keep in mind that if you had a fourth power, the fourth power here, you might have to do the get you know do the work with the zero that was given, do the work with the conjugate. But when you're done here, you'll end up with a quadratic, and then you have to do the quadratic formula to find the last two zeros. Okay, that's only if it were a fourth power.